Hi guys, Andy Crowley here again. And in the first video of these five, we covered the most common strumming pattern ever, down, down, up, up, down. Now that is always found in medium to faster tempoed songs. The strumming pattern we're going to cover today is appropriate for slower tempoed songs. Um, it's a very interesting pattern. It gets us onto a 16th grid because the slower tempoed songs might actually include more strumming. And that strumming pattern is one and two and a three and four and a. And I'm using a G chord here to demonstrate if you want to play along at home. As I say, this is on a 16th grid, so you want to be comfortable being able to do eighths all down strumming first. One and two and three and four and. Now that's essentially twice as many strums, twice as fast as the count, as the beat. And it is this beat which is the tempo of the song. So even though a song might have a lot of strumming in it, and might have some fast strumming, the tempo or the count of the song might be actually quite slow. So if our count is one, two, three, four, just strumming on the beat would be one, two, three, four, as you should have done already if you're watching this video and this is right for you. The next level from there is we're going for eights all down strumming, where we're splitting that count of four into eight evenly, and we make that one and two and three and four and. Now a great thing to do if you've been doing this already, especially if you've been doing this a while, one and two and three and four and. And if you haven't, it should be quite an easy one to pick up. A great thing to add, first of all, is an accent on beats two and four. So remember, I'm just using a G chord here as the example chord if you want to play along at home, which would be great. Um, but we want to play two and four louder. So the way we're doing it at the moment. Next level to get us where we want to go. Accent on two and four. One and two and three and four. And this just sounds a lot more natural and a bit more rhythmical. One, two, three, four. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice I'm not just playing two and four louder to give it that accent. I'm actually playing all the rest a little bit quieter. And even, especially on beats one and three, even just playing the thicker few strings. So maybe string six and five together. One and two and three and four. So let's have a close up on that now and then we'll have a look at the second most common strumming pattern ever. Okay, so eight soul downs. Again on our G chord, probably the most common open chord. And we're going to add the accent. Thicker strings on one and, and then two full loud strum. One and two, one and two. And then just one last normal strum on the and of two, one and two and. So that last strum is just somewhere between the other two. And when we cycle that for one bar, it would sound like one and two, three and four, one and two and three and four and. And that's the first step. So let's do it nice and slow together. Play along to me. In two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two. Are you playing along? One and two and three and four and one and two. If you can't, I can see you. If you're not joining in. <laughs> Three and four and one and two and three and four and and that accent really brings thing things alive. Or conversely, if we don't add an accent, it gets real samey real fast. Um, the last little bit we're going to add to make this one of the most common strumming patterns ever for these slower tempoed songs 
is we're going to go for an upstroke on the and, ah. One, and, two, and, ah. Now this upstroke, importantly, and this is why we did the first strumming pattern in, in lesson one, when we're keeping the hand movement going, it's an upstrum you're already kind of doing. One, and, two, and, we're already going back up. You just need to catch that one. One and two and a three and four and a. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun. Now, there are two songs that are really good rhythmic recalled for this. If you listen to the songs and then try and copy this pattern, uh, it's not the particular chords, but the drumming from Live Forever by Oasis, one and two and a three and four and a, gives you that pattern. Boom, boom, bam, ba, da, boom, boom, bam, ba, da. And also One Day Like This by Elbow, really popular song, beautiful song, that kind of. And it's basically just both of those are recreating a drum sound. This is why we're accenting beats two and four because that's where the loud snare drum would happen. One and two and three and four. So if we percussively mute our strings, definitely make sure that you're keeping that accent. One and two and our three and four and our one and two and our three and four and our. So that's how to play the second most common strumming pattern ever. Remember that's appropriate for slower songs and the first one is appropriate for faster songs. There's a little bit of crossover in the middle where both may work but you'll find if you try that in any of your songbook strumming type songs that one will just naturally work better for the other than the other for the song that you're going for.